populations getting older, more and more people are getting cancer, we're doing more for every cancer patient. If we compare the situation now to what it was, say, 30 years ago, we're doing so much more with each sample. And if we look at the samples we're taking now, compared to back then, it's clear that we're now taking more samples, looking at more cells, and doing more analysis, because we know so much more now than we did before. Unfortunately, the number of pathologists hasn't really increased. But getting help from a digital tool means that you can work more systematically. And you can also respond to many of the new criteria that come up. So, for me, it's interconnected. I think that the increased specialization and more detailed assessments should go hand in hand with digitalization. In our pathology department, we doctors have been working together with the technicians, but also with IT to make this project work. And we work very closely together. We're tightly linked. It's easy for us to talk to each other and we get instant feedback if something's not right. I think pathology perhaps has been a bit forgotten. It's held tight to its traditions, to its microscopes, and perhaps technology hasn't really been ready. What's needed is large-scale magnifications. We need efficient scanners, and we have huge amounts of data. Technology has probably not been ready to solve this until now. So instead of, as before, giving the glass slides to our pathologists so that they could look at them under their microscopes, we now scan them to get digital versions. You can look at them on a computer. And suddenly, we also have all the advantages of the image management systems. I'm now going to measure the tumour that I'm working on today. I use my measurement tool and I measure where the tumour seems to be the widest. Previously, I had to either take the slide out from the microscope and measure with a ruler, or put the ruler under the microscope. Or, if you wanted to be really precise, use an eyepiece graticule and adjust. So this is definitely quicker. And now we also have a record of where the measurement was taken. So the next time you need to look at this patient's sample or show it to a colleague, you know exactly where to look. Before, you had to sit at your microscope with a pen and try to circle the relevant areas. It wasn't very exact. Another advantage is, of course, when you're diagnosing patient samples and realize that you need to look at this patient's previous samples. Before, you'd have to leave the room, go up to the next floor, look through all our archived slides, go back down and try to remember where you'd got to with that case. Now, with just a click of a button, the previous samples for that patient come up straight away. We have better records of how and what we're doing and where we have everything. There are lots of advantages with this, particularly at the clinic, but also with remote review. The fact that you can easily work from home or ask external resources for help. Everything from taking the picture to actually sending out a link to the case. Now, several of us can be connected to a case at the same time for a joint discussion. With remote review and specialization, IT has to be involved to solve the issues around image and information exchange. The image quality has to be equally good here, even if you're looking at a case that's come in from another hospital. In the end, this is something that benefits the patients. Quicker response times. It's cancer we're working with. <laughs>